Hi, this is Matthew with Pentair Pool. And today we're gonna to be showing you the proper way to acid clean your IntelliClor salt chlorine generator. Let's get started. Ideally, you'd wanna clean the salt cell once a quarter or once a season, depending on how long your pool is running or if the cell light is flashing green. The first thing we wanna do is disconnect power at the breaker to prevent any system startup while we're servicing the equipment. After disconnecting power from the breaker, we'll also want to remove the IntelliClor power cable from the bottom of the IntelliClor power center. If your IntelliClor is plugged into the bottom of an automation system, like the IntelliCenter, you can disconnect it from the bottom of the panel. Next, we're going to depressurize the system by opening the air relief on the filter. After removing pressure from the filter, we're going to loosen up the unions in order to remove the salt cell from the plumbing. Be sure to support the salt cell while you're removing it from the plumbing. After removing the salt cell from the plumbing, you'll want to rinse off the blades of tap water. Optionally, you can spray degreaser on a flow switch and then rinse off the blades in the flow switch at the same time. These are the following items that we're gonna be using to ensure a safe and smooth acid cleaning process. We'll want PPE such as safety glasses and chemical resistant gloves, our IntelliClor salt cell, a shallow plastic dish to catch any overflow, we're going to need our acid cleaning stand with O-ring, which is inside, a quart measuring glass or cup, muriatic acid, and a five gallon bucket in order to mix the chemical in. It is recommended to use four parts water and one part acid. In this video, we're gonna be using four quarts of water and one quart of acid. Remember, it is always important to pour acid into water and never water into acid. Now we're gonna be adding our one quart of acid into the bucket. We'll do it very slowly and very carefully. Now we're gonna be threading our acid cleaning stand onto the flow switch side of the IntelliClor. And we're just gonna make it snug. And then we're gonna place it inside of our shallow plastic dish. Now we're gonna be adding our water and acid solution to the IntelliClor. We're gonna pour it in slowly and just cover the blades. If you don't see any rigorous foaming or fizzing after pouring in your acid and water solution, then this is an indication that your salt cell is clean and you could probably dump out that solution. After the acid cleaning process is finished, we'll empty the contents of the salt cell back into our five gallon bucket. Now we're gonna remove the acid cleaning stand from the bottom of the IntelliClor. Once it's removed, we're gonna spray out the blades. The final step in the acid cleaning process is reinstalling the IntelliClor and turning power back onto the system.
As we tighten the unions, we want to support the cell and ensure that they're only hand tight. Before returning power to the system, we're going to reconnect our IntelliCore power cable. As we mentioned earlier in the video, if you have your IntelliCore installed to the automation system, we'll reconnect the cable back to the bottom of the panel. Before returning power to the system, we want to make sure our air relief on the filter is still open. Now we can return power to the system. Now that the system is powered on and the pump is running, we're going to wait for pressure to return to the system and then close the air relief when water starts coming out. We hope you found this instructional video useful and please check the description below the video for more self-help resources. And as always, thank you for choosing Pentair Pool.